Hi there, David Katzmeyer from CNET, and this is Mitsubishi's HC 7900DW DLP projector. It's one of the least expensive 3D projectors in Mitsubishi's lineup. We compared this projector to a couple of the other 3D compatible units out there, and while it was a little bit more expensive, it really didn't deliver that much more of an impact in picture quality. We'll get to that in a little bit, but let's start off with this projector's look. The overall look is a little bit bulbous to my eye. It is a little bit larger and heavier than some of the other entry-level projectors out there. Mitsubishi doesn't do much with the styling, aside from a couple chrome accents and this all-white coloring. Setup features are minimal on this projector. The highlight is a lens shift. You can flip up the little lid here and find a dial that adjusts the lens up and down without messing with the geometry. That is a nice extra in a projector at this level, although there are a couple of others that share it. On the top side toward the back, there's a standard array of controls, and of course this projector also includes a remote. I'm not a big fan of the remote. It actually doesn't even say Mitsubishi on it, and it looks like a very generic model with a haphazard button arrangement and a couple cryptic labels, but all told, you probably won't have to use it much on a projector. On the back, there's an ample array of inputs, including two HDMI, one component video, and also a PC input that can also accept component video, so it does have a couple more inputs than some of the other basic projectors on the market. Mitsubishi also includes a couple more adjustments than some entry-level projectors. There's a full array of video processing adjustments that allow you to tweak the smoothing or soap opera effect from zero to nil, and it actually has quite a few levels of gradation that I really appreciated. There's also plenty of controls for color and gamma, including a multi-point gamma control and a full color management system. So all told, you can tweak this projector six ways from Sunday. The picture quality of the Mitsubishi is pretty good as long as you keep the lights off. In a dark room, it competed well with other projectors in its price range, and it delivered pretty good black levels and very accurate color. The problem is light output. When we turned up the lights, it really couldn't get nearly as bright as some of those other projectors, and as a result, the picture lacked a lot of impact in those really high brightness picture modes. The picture looked quite a bit more washed out, and of course the Mitsubishi, as a result, is not nearly as versatile as some of the other projectors we tested. That's not to say that any projector looks great with the lights up, but if you need to watch with a little bit of ambient light, I'd choose a different projector than this Mitsubishi. Unlike some of its 3D competitors, Mitsubishi doesn't include the 3D option in the box. You'll need to buy a separate emitter as well as separate 3D glasses. Mitsubishi also doesn't sell 3D glasses itself, although these expand glasses that came with our review sample are available online for around 40 bucks. And that's a look at Mitsubishi's HC7900DW DLP 3D projector. I'm David Katzmeyer with CNET.